Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich! Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Edge of the Dragonfly! Hooray! You did it! My contraption is working! Step right in and it will transport you somewhere really cool! At least, I think it will. Okay. So, yeah, contraption. Oh, that's weird. And we're 25 gems short on the overworld. So, gem collection, monster cooling. Or killing. Monster cooling. We're gonna make the monsters cool. I suppose we could. We have ice breath. Ice breath is cool. No, it's not vertical sandwich. No, it's not. But, yeah, you know. Whatever. Oh, that's annoying. It's so bright. Spyro, the R1000 and the TRX 1000s have escaped from their inescapable cages and are running amok through the jungle. Please stop them before they destroy the rest of the science labs in all of our research. No. No problem. But say, what's a R1000 something something? Oh, well, to put it in simplified terms that even a dragon can understand, they're mechanically enhanced nanotech propulsion oriented tiktoks. Which uh, we've been working on here in our labs. <laughs> uh, quite a state of the art, I might add. <laughs> oh, really? And how exactly would I go about destroying these things? Well, we did find a flaw in the R1000 models when they were uh, exposed to sub zero temperatures. Called it! Perhaps that information will come in useful. <laughs> no problem. I have just the right breath to chill them out. Great! On the other hand, the T-Rex 1000s are quite vulnerable to electricity. If we've not been able to get close enough to them to stab them with an electrical charge. Okay. But, this is what you get for calling me stupid. Okay, well that kills them. Oh really, they didn't put anything up there? That's crazy. Why would they have made a design choice like that? <gasps> what? That's dumb! No, they're not that hard to get close to. And we found our fodder animal. It's a very weird music choice. All right, and there's a chest. Well, just seeing how glitchy the game really was. Not as glitchy as I'd hoped.
The lava platforms are probably unnecessary. Studying this temple, and it's quite fascinating. Oh, yeah? How so? Well, I believe that these strange drawings on the walls are a clue to something hidden away in this temple. But I can't quite decipher them yet. <laughs> yes. And from what I have been able to decipher, it seems that the gems on the statues inside react to heat. Perhaps you can figure out the rest, Byron. And it just looks like squares of nine. So just everything reacts to electricity. I never have to change my breath. It really, they really made it sound. Like I would have to use freeze breath, but apparently I do not. Okay, so we're looking for markings that designate color, huh? Or not. It sure is. Well, there's my key. Never even touch the floor. Awesome. Ah. Oh. I want to clear out this room. We gotta get him on the fly. I 
Oh no, he's the thing that unlocks. It's kind of a pain. I don't want to have to walk the whole dumb thing back, so... Alright. Then we can go try to figure out some markings. Oh, I see a gem up there, too. Hey, it's John Mark. Of course it is. Of course it's John Mark. So, what markings is he talking about? I mean, I see a set of four. I see a set of five. I see a set of two. Okay, one, and then opposite it is two. Three, five, four. I have an idea. No, that doesn't make any sense. So... It's 254... 25413. So... No, it's got to be this way. So there's one, two. What? Two, five, four, one, three. We have to do them in reverse order. No. See, I was thinking one, two, three, four, five. That does not seem to be the case. It's clearly the... See, it's one, three, and on this side, two, five, and four. And that corresponds to, so you would think, one, two, three, 
Three. Four. Five. <coughs> or one. So like one. Two. Three. Four. Five. But that did not work either. So when we come back, the solution. Bye, everybody.